Hello, where to start? Let's start on my YouTube channel. Uh, this is fourth episode of three minute code with Wallace series. And it seems that that series is not, not popular as I hope so. You can see, for example, last video had less than 4,000 views, but it seems that these videos were helpful to some people, so I will continue to make them. Today I will talk about real-time clocks, about clock and time-related projects. I made so many clocks and internet clocks and uh, I use many different real-time clock chips but I never had a chance to explain this more deeply. So first I want, wanted to explain that as you probably know ESP32 have a built-in real-time clock which is okay but it is not that accurate which means that after after a few days time will not be accurate it will be higher or lower than actual time uh, usually i love love to use uh, external real-time clock modules for example something like this because external modules also have batteries which will help to keep time but if board is always connected to USB power supply or if you are not powering board with battery there is also trick many of us are using so we are using built-in real-time clock chip but every few hours board will connect to internet it will fetch actual time and it will set internal real-time clock chip so in this video i will not write code from sketch like in uh, previous episodes I prepared two versions of code one is simple basic one and one is practically same but with few graphical elements so it looks nicer in this video I will just try to explain my code and explain you what you need to set up this kind of project so let's check this first example which is really simple I try to put everything in in functions so for example at the beginning of code we are need some header files TFT library because I'm using Lilygo T display s3 but that is not important now it is important now that I'm using this library to set and read time from built-in real-time clock chip I will share here is library at github so if you want to try my example you will need to download this git and uh, extract it in your libraries folder this is simple and easy to use library you can here in readme you can find all the functions I love it when I can see all the functions and very easy to read for example in this case to show this time we are using only this function get time and we can see that it returns string in this format which is great you can find this link in the description so don't forget to install this library of course here are some data you will also need to set your ssid and password your wi-fi uh, data and you will need to know 
in which zone you are living. If you don't know your zone, you can use this time map. So you need to find your town or your country on this map and you will see for example I'm from Croatia and uh, Croatia didn't win the Eurovision Song Contest and mm -hmm. and we can see that I'm in plus two time zone so don't forget to set this this line you don't need to set so we have few functions connect Wi-Fi that function will connect your board to your Wi-Fi if everything is okay if password and SSID is okay then we have function set time set time will fetch time from server and it will set our integrated real-time clock program will first call setup function and this is standard initialization for display we are creating sprite here is code related to setting brightness and when board is power it will connect to Wi-Fi and it will set time and then we have this basic draw fun function which will every second draw another value of clock if you remember here is that simple function from here get time and in loop so every second we will draw time on screen then we will wait one second and we will increment and this is just second counter we will increment seconds and after 7200 after after two hours because two hours have this much seconds we will again set our time and here is a result so this is basic sketch which you can use for template for any ESP32 board you will just need to probably change draw function if you are using some different type of display or some or something like that and here is better version this is uh, not better version this is practically not nothing fancy that is practically same sketch just in this case we have some colors we have some fonts we have digits first digits are hours second to our minutes same functions for connect to wi-fi and set time same setup function and main difference is in draw function which obviously draw these nice rectangles lines and some other decorations nothing fancy this time and in loop function we have same code uh, but uh, instead of of just using real-time clock get time we need to substring for example first our character in this case one will be first character in this string and you will notice that that index goes to zero one three four index two is missing because index two is this double dot which we don't use so that is probably it please tell me if this is useful if you learn something and do you want this series to continue if you want to support my work to make this easier to me 
you can buy me a coffee you can become my pet patreon supporter you can watch more of my videos or you can just leave a like thank you have a nice day and well i will see you very soon i'm still learning lvgl and uh, some others techniques so we will see goodbye